welcome down to Rochdale Hospital, boys and girls, ladies and gents. Uh, yeah, here for the big operation today on my knee. So I'm having a meniscus uh, and arthroscopy um, procedure done on my knee to take some of the meniscus away. Believe it or not, who'd have thought being fit damages you? Who'd have thought that? So I'd done a lot of fat walks last year and trying to get myself back fit and healthy, losing the weight, played an absolute shed load of golf and my knee's gone. See you later, good night, bye bye. And I've done my meniscus through doing it. So this video now over the next, I'm gonna plot it now over the next few weeks, uh, is gonna be just basic summary of how I'm getting on, what the rehab's gonna be like, all the work I'm gonna do to get myself back fit and back able to play golf again. I hope you're gonna enjoy the journey. So without further ado, let's crack on. So the black rectangle with the mouse is, yeah. Yep. But instead, you see how it's got a white streak through it here? Yep. So that's the tear, so that's fluid going into the t into the streak. Right, okay. Uh, sorry, into the meniscus. Right. And it's the fluid that you, you see as whiteness. So you don't actually see the tear, you see the fluid entering the, the meniscus. Right, okay. And so when we look side on, you see that white line there? Yep. That again is the fluid entering the meniscus where it should look jet black if I scroll to where this, the tear propagates through there. But oh, you can see it properly, yeah. can't you? But if we, if we go to the other side, to the medial side, you see how you see how it's almost all the way black there? Yep. But you see you've got that, that's another small tear. Oh, the other there. Side, yeah. Right. And to look at that on this side, it's a bit harder to see in the AP view. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. No, oh, that, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. You see how there's a black triangle at the front and a black triangle at the back here? Yep. But then in between, this sliver has a gap there and a gap there. Yeah. So that suggests that this is a loose flap that's flicking in and out of your knee. So when you're rotating your knee, that's what's causing your pain because it's catching in your knee. And that pulls on the capsule of the knee, which right. is where it's attached at the other end. Okay. And that's where your nerve fibres are. And that's why you can feel your pinpoint pain mm. in that position. Wow. Okay. That's that. Oh, that, that's, that's new. So that's it all done. Um, it's what time we know. Half past five, uh, all fixed, all sorted. Mr. Jane, the surgeon, has very kindly been around to come see me. Says everything's all gone really, really well, and he's more than happy with the surgery. So day case should be going home. Um, well, should be going home shortly, actually. Um, Gaz is in the car, in, in the car, in the car park, already waiting for us because the boy's an absolute superstar. Yeah. So recovery part starts now and I'll give you updates of what's going on and we are going over the next few weeks. So again, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, staff here at Rochdale Hospital have been amazeballs, absolutely amazeballs. So all of you, thank you so, so much for this. I really appreciate it. Hi folks. So it's the evening after the operation. Um, so it's the first post-operative day today had a bit of a relaxing one to be fair uh directions and instructions have been try and keep your leg uh rested elevated and laid flat out so i've been doing that one i haven't done a whole lot today i've had a, had a lousy lousy night's sleep i came round from the operation probably about half five uh yesterday afternoon i sent the video i managed to come back home uh, which was great um but just couldn't sleep saving life i had my codeine tablets nothing couldn't, I've let him in back as well. Um, so, you know, hoping that that makes, but I know I snore like an absolute trooper. Um, so I just didn't sleep. Very, very gassy with the oxygen that I'd had and stuff, which just made me feel really uncomfortable. And I've still not slept since. So I may have had maybe, what, about two hours kip uh, last night, but I'm, I'm still not even tired. So today's just been a sick, lame and lazy day, basically. Um, managed to sort out for my physio, so I'm going to go and see Matt Lake in Hall from MLH Physio uh, next Thursday. So that'll be the start then of my proper physio, but I have got exercises to do in the meantime. Uh, so speaking to him today, he said, right, crack on with the exercise that we've got on there. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a moment and just doing some, my leg's been still a little bit twingy. Uh, but I, I'm going to start uh, getting onto these because at the end of the day, I need to get this leg mobile. I need to get it fixed up. I need to get it right. So let's go and have a look and let's just go and see how the exercises are and how much I can actually do.
Evening. So, it's Saturday the 16th, a couple of days after surgery, and it's now time to take off the banning. So, we've done 72 hours now. So, I spoke to Mr. James. What he's told me to do is, underneath there, there'll be uh, two um, kind of um, plastery type sections, uh, and to leave them on for as long as I can. So, I've just took the bandage off now, um, all done dusted. So, as you can see, just a little bit of a little bit of blood on this area there. The bandage was actually really quite bloody because I had quite a lot of excess bleeding after uh, post operative uh, post operation. Uh, but other than that, absolutely fine. I've not, uh, like I said, I've not really bothered doing any sort of a, um, uh, an update over the last couple of days because I've just been absolutely knackered, proper proper wiped out. Uh, I think the coding's really kicked in properly for me. Uh, but that is really good. It's not, as you see, it's it's a little bit swollen as as is to be expected. Uh, you know, I think that, that's, that's well to be expected, but uh, on the whole, more than happy with that. Morning, folks. How are we? So, a bit of a cold there today. You can see it's been snowing here in Manchester. I'm down here at the HCA Medical Centre uh, at the Wilmslow Hospital. I'm seeing Matt from MLH Physio today. So, Matt, you'll know in the channel in the past, he's done the uh, Battle for Fitness. So, today is, again, part of the... Uh, road to recovery um, so we're here down for the first actual physio session now I've been doing the physio stuff as you've already seen on the videos already um, that the NHS have given me which has been good however I had a bit of a whoopsie the other night um, I stupidly decided to try and walk down the stairs not remembering I'd had an operation so I've been doing like little teeter tot steps like one step at a time instead of doing like the normal steps you would normally do yeah, the knee didn't like that much. Uh, and it was only when I'd done the first step down, I'd gone, oh crap, all my weight is on one leg. Not brilliant. But for some stupid reason, I carried on walking. Go figure. So I got down the bottom of the stairs. It felt like my knee wanted to really crack. You know when you get like a bunged up joint in the morning when you wake up? That's exactly how I felt. So the knee's been a little bit, it's come see, come sa since then. Uh, I'll still be doing the exercises. That's been all fine, but just a little bit sore. So we're going to go in in a minute and we'll see what Matt's going to work on with me and what other exercise he's going to give me now. So let's see you in there in a minute. Right, so we're down with the man, the legend that is. Matt from Alex Physio. And we're going taking a look at the knee as it stands. Just been telling about my little bit of a whoopsie. Sit back a moment, sit back. Massively swollen, but there's a touch in there. So I would be a couple of times a day, three times a day, 10 to 15 minutes get to my summer. All right, okay. Yeah. Or just on this part here? No, just over the knee. Just get back with frozen peas, just blast it over the knee. Right, just literally get that on there. It's not massively swollen, like I said, there's just, you can feel the kneecap, so it's good, but it just, it's not going to do you any harm to get a bit more ice on there just to get rid of that fluid. Do you want to take the, the, the uh, Yeah, the so when you off. do it, just roll it down. Then just pop the ice on, then you can pull it off. So that bandage is good because it just keeps compression, so that's going to help. But if you can ice it as well, it's just going to keep anything. And especially as you start to do a bit more walking, yeah. the, sometimes that's you start to see it balloon up a little bit. So just counteract that with the ice, keep the bandage on and stuff all the time, but take that down, ice it three right. times a day, so 15 minutes, something like that. Right. Oh, that's, that's fine. Because I've been trying to do my damnedest not to get these stitches wet because he wants me to try and keep them on until yeah, I see a little them. bit of, you can always just put a tea towel on it. Just right. put a tea towel on it and then put the ice on it. So okay, yep. Take the bandage down. So straight again for us, push down into the bed for me. Good. So that's it's good there. So you've got that there. Yep. What I want you to get is if you do it on this side, can you feel how you can get your knee flatter into the bed? So you're yep. getting the hyperextension, but you can see you're getting more there. Yeah. So what I want you to focus on is trying to get the knee down and the quad and the thigh down into the bed as right. well as getting that hyperextension. So okay. Let it relax again. So now focus on trying to squash my hand as well as that. Yeah, you feel yeah. the difference there. Yeah. So you're getting a much stronger contraction there. Yeah. Really getting that hyperextension. This right. Time, all right. Just Make sure that you're not pushing from your hip. So the temptation sometimes is when it's difficult. Yeah. So almost push the leg down from the hip more. Right. It's got to come from the quads here. Okay. So pushing the knee down. This is really good. This hyperextension. Yeah. But I want to get this a little bit flatter. So you're really trying to get that knee, that quad engaged. Just, just to touch more. So when I'm at home, I've got a, I've got a foam roller like that yeah, one, yeah. Uh, and I've got a standard just flat foam roller. So yeah, I'm yeah. using that one. 
only to legs back the NHS exercise where I'm doing like the whole that one. Yeah, yeah, I'm so that's that. fine to do with that as well. So when yeah. you're doing that, you're really trying to get that full extension. So you're trying to get that heel as high as you can. But when you're doing the flat one, yeah. really try and focus on getting this just a little bit flatter from here. So when I'm doing this exercise, mm -hmm. I've been I've been doing it, I've been trying to think, and he's, he's, he's trying to do more. I've been led flat on the floor. That's fine, yeah. Do it that way. Whether you sat up or lay down, doesn't matter. Flat surface is fine, so you can right. judge where you're at and stuff like Okay, that. that's fine, do that. Let's have a little look at the straight leg raise. So locking the knee out, good. Okay, lower back down slowly. So as you lift, I want you to make sure you, again, you've got it locked out. So as you lifted there, yeah. there was just a little bit of a drop, a little bit of a lag. So oh, I want you to make sure, before you do it, just switch on, right. make sure that's fully engaged, and then lift that leg up. So lock it in place lock first. Lock it in place, then lift it, and you can see there, you keep that dead straight, slowly down. All right, perfect. Very yep, good. that's All right. right. And again, with that other one with the under the, over the roller, just really trying to get that heel coming up. Right. All the, yep. Those all look really, really good. They look spot. Okay. Really spot. All right. Okay. Um, let me say that. It's no, like I said, you can see down there, swelling wise, there's nothing major. Not bad. So no. It's not bad at all. It's just as you start to do more, yeah. as you more exercise, we up things, the ice just counteracts it. That's fine. Let's have a little look at your bending now. So where we are there. How does that feel there? Pain or more just tight? It's just tight. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's tight, but it's a fear of pain. Cool. Rest that down. So some of that, or the majority of that tightness is swelling. So the little bit of fluid in there, that pressure is just stopping you doing it. Okay. Like you said, you will rock, you, if you go any further, if this swelling isn't there, you probably will reach a point where it becomes painful. So you'll start to compress that meniscus and stuff. Right. So we can work towards that point and nibble into it, but yeah. if there's swelling there, you're never going to get to that point. Okay. So that's why we need to get that swelling down just a touch, mate. All right. Fine. So once more, just go up again. So I've been using the uh, the ice. Uh, I've been using the um, so slidey floor. Yeah, slidey floor. So I've got a piece of cardboard, yeah. and I found the more I do the What's that, feeling like that, that that feels a bit tight. The, the feeling just across, across, there. across there. Yeah. So some of it will be these dressings as well. Okay. So that's fine. So you might find as you start to push it, if they do come off in the next few days not a major problem okay. you know it's over a week everything should be healed underneath there yeah but you can already see that's starting to be better yeah a bit more. as so the day goes on yeah gets easier. it starts to be a little yeah. easier yeah. in the morning it's always going to be stiffer the hyperextension is going to be a little bit limited the bending is going to be a little bit limited but you can see you can actually get that there and as long as it's just that tightness yeah from sort of more the pressure in the joint and the yeah. fluid then you can put try to push through that a little bit now okay but if you start to reach more of a sharper point a sharper pain that's where, sort of like I say, that's your, that's your maximum at the moment. Okay. But you, and then we just gradually each day we'll nibble into that a little bit more. Right. But the okay. main thing is just trying to get that swelling, that touch of swelling down a little bit more, and that will make that a little bit easier. And right. like I said, if you bend more, if the do dressings do come a bit loose, that's fine, because some of that feeling of it feeling tight is probably the dressings pulling on the skin. Okay. And obviously the little bit of stitches when you're doing it and stuff like that. Is it worthwhile putting like some cling film around it and then put the ice on it and do it that way so it's not going to get... I just put, just put a tea towel on it. See, just, just okay. literally tea towel on it. If they get a little bit damp, it's not. I'm doing it around this bit here. Just yeah. literally get a bag of ice, get a big bag of peas, and just literally pop it on over there. Okay. I can do a little bit around the back. Sometimes you get a pocket of swelling in the back, it? but it's not particularly swollen, so I just literally just dumped it on the front. That's fine. Get it covered in there. Just literally, take 15 minutes, just get that on there. Right. right. Good, isn't it? So in terms of things you need to just focus on a little bit more, exercise-wise, Pushing the, one, the static quads just down, really focusing on trying to get that flatter. That's yeah. good. And then bending, nibble into it as it feels comfortable. But if we get the swelling down a touch more, then we just go up a little bit. Okay. All right. Is it, is it worth? Are we doing like walking up and down the stairs a bit more? Or? So we can. We're going to add a little bit of work. All right. Okay. And stuff. All right. So yeah. we're going to look at just starting to just add a little bit of loading into it. But again, we've got to be sensible. And that's where we're talking about the swelling. As we start to do a little bit more walking, which you're starting to do a little bit more, getting out a bit more. As we start to load it with some ex simple exercise on the step, we've got to count. We, you know, sometimes you can see a bit more swelling start to creep in because yeah. you start to put a bit more pressure through the So that's where, like I say, at the moment, the bandage is good, but the ice is going to be the big thing that's going to keep that swelling down because we just can cause a little bit of irritation. Right, that's right. fine. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. No, perfect. All of those, yeah? yeah. So in terms of these exercises, no real change. Just focus on a couple of little things. Just get them really, really spot on, really, really hot. If you can get these perfect in the next week, and it makes a world of difference. Christy, cool. yeah, I can right. do that. Yeah, I'll go on top. Perfect, of cool. Right, do you want to pause it and then we'll go on to so have a little look on the step. I do that once or twice a day, that's all I do. Like right. we said, as we start to load it, we don't want to overdo it.
we don't want to irritate it too much and cool. cause loads of swelling. Because at the minute the swelling's really good, it's in a good place. If we overload it and we walk too much and we load it too much and the swelling increases, your pain increases, then it's just going to slow you rehab down. So we've got to find that right balance. So you start, start cautiously. Okay, Perfect. Okay, so okay, we'll go there. So, so just use the wall in front of you or the door frame. So go Left foot up, up onto the step and then drive up, touch, and then back down slowly. Good. Slower we can come back down, the better. Okay. Perfect. Great stuff. Really good. And that should feel relatively easy. Yeah. Just feel it a little bit there. It just feels like it wants to crack. Do you get that? Um, yeah. Which I've done that with some of the exercises I've done. Yeah. Where like, I'm doing the straighten out of the leg. Um, Sometimes it's got like, normally you have a crack in the joint, like, oh, it feels yeah. heaven. Yeah, yeah. But then doing it in that knee, if it's been surgically done with, oh, oh crap. Some of that will probably be that just there's that little bit of fluid. As soon as you get a little bit of fluid in there, it just messes with the joint and just gives you that feeling. So it doesn't, probably doesn't need to do that, but it gives you that feeling that's just that little bit. Fluid. That's fine, okay. Right. Yeah, so not done anything wrong. All right. Like I said, nice, slow, controlled movements. Okay. The second one, the slightly more difficult, challenging one. You can do it sideways on the bottom step or you can face down. It's wherever you're comfortable. As long as you've got some support, okay? Yeah. Now, all we're doing is we're starting to just dip a little bit. We're right. not necessarily going to lower all the way down like that because okay. that will probably be too painful. Yeah. So what we're working in, the most important thing is relatively pain-free with this, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is start to just dip and then raise back up. Right. right. And if I can only dip, a few centimetres, an inch, yep. and get to there before it starts to feel like it's going to be uncomfortable, yep. that's fine, that's okay. all I do. Again, most important thing is you're looking down, knee sort of stays in line with the toes. Yep. What we don't want to see is the knee collapsing inwards there and twisting. Right. We're just going down and up. Okay. okay. If we go low and it's it falls, that's too low. Okay. We don't want that pain, so we just want to control that. It's difficult, like my steps at home are quite steep steps. So exactly, so, so all you do is you just use the step to just judge yeah. how far you're going. And each day, each week as we go along, you'll see that you can get that lower. So you I just sort of get a little mark on there. But we've got a li little sure. lip on the step, so just going to about that height will be fine. Yeah. Right, no, it's just that back. I might start left leg. Like no, no, so just again, if you're worried, you just get the support of the wall there. Okay. So come up onto it there, all right, get your balance. Again, we're just keeping everything nice and square, hips nice and level, and it's just starting to let that knee bend slowly to that point, good, and then raise back up. Again, slowly down, control okay. things down. What we call eccentric, lowering down, really important to do it nice and slow. Okay. Good, perfect. And it's just getting to trust it, so it's yeah. knowing how far you can go and stuff. And yeah, it's true. It depends, all depends on the height of your steps as to how far you actually go. Yeah. You just you find a, a rough mark and you dip in there. Don't yeah, because we've got a little lip on the step, so just going below that will be too bad. So you get your toes below it first, then you look at your other ankle, then you look at getting towards your shin as you progress. Okay. You just use your other leg as almost a little bit of a guide and marker as to how long you go. Yeah. How's that feeling into there? Not feeling too bad, actually. It was yeah. the, the first one I did, I felt the knee was coming back up the strain okay. in the knee. Uh, I was just coming back up, which yeah. I thought would have been the other way around. Um, Sometimes just pushing off. Good. Excellent. The leg, the leg's really wobbly. Yeah. 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 Just, so yeah, relax there. Come off. Step off there. That, that's right. where I was, that's where I've been scared about going down the stairs because it's just felt the knees not being stable. Yeah. So um, that's so, why so when you're doing a flight of stairs, I still want you to do it the good old back down to heaven. So your bad leg goes down, but all the load is is on your right leg at the moment going yeah. down the stairs. Coming up, you can you'll find you naturally just step up and down, up a little bit more naturally, and yeah. you would do one after the other. But coming down at the moment, keep it as it is, one step at a time, and you back down to help. So you get all the work is for you at the moment, it's going through your good leg, your right leg. Yeah, so all right foot first. Just and left protecting right it at the moment. And yeah. like I said, you do eight to ten reps, couple of sets. If you can't do eight, eight's too many, start off at five or six and you just build it up. Okay. So you only do two or three sets tops and once a day if it feels enough, if you feel good, do a bit twice a day. But that's all you need to do at the moment. Because that's like fine. I said, all we don't we don't want to overload it, yeah. it get really swollen, get really panicked up because then all those other exercises on the bed, then you'll find those struggle and then it just slows everything down. So That's you've fine. got to just build it up gradually and stuff. Right, right. brilliant. Right. Cheers, mate. Thank you for that. Happy with that. Crushed it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. all right with that one. Matt, how's, how's the knee looking to you, what you've seen on the, the, the report and stuff like that? How's it looking? Uh, yeah, the knee's looking, uh, looking really, really good at this, this stage. Um, from the report from Mr. Jane, uh, everything fairly standard. As we as he'd expect, so it is just a matter of 
basically listening to the pain, listening to the swelling. They're our two guides at the moment in terms of whether we're doing enough or whether we're doing too much and stuff. And at the moment, everything's looking spot on. Like we said, tiny bit of swelling in there, nothing major, but the risk is as we do a little bit more, so we start to load it with more walking, putting a bit more weight through it up and down the stairs and stuff, the risk is that that's where it gets a bit more swollen, can get a bit irritated. So we've just got to find, but sort of find a balance of how much exercise to do. So we've just started a little bit more loading today, fine tune some of the basic sort of post-op exercises. We start to do a little bit more loading, just increasing the walking a little bit more. So we're getting out a little bit more, a couple of times a day, increasing things. Um, do you know, if people have got exercise bikes, you know, at home, st static bikes, we can start to get on those sorts of things as well and stuff. Um, but like I said, everything at this moment, still a only a week post-op, very much guided by the pain and the swelling. So those are the two things that you've got to just keep an eye on. And as long as those two things are good and they're as they are, then we can just keep progressing things. And if we do that, come four, five, six weeks, we'll be in a really, really good place and we'll be looking at swinging golf clubs and stuff by then. Brilliant. No questions. So this man has been an absolute legend for me. Uh, as you've seen on, on previous videos, I uh, did my Battle for Fitness video with him, doing TPI for golf and stuff. So Matt here at MLH Physio, if you are in the Manchester area, or if you do want to travel, it's well worth it. I'll put a link in the description below. Interesting that I've got, um, you said about exercise bike, I've just bought an exercise bike at, at Christmas. Cool. So I can step it. into that yeah, one. Yeah, get on it. Please. Just the motion. Don't need any resistance, just get the motion and you sit on it for five or 10 minutes. Again, just see how it responds. All right, okay. You shouldn't swell up too much because you're actually you're not loading it too much. It's, so it's, there's less that. load on a bike than there is doing those steps. All right, brilliant. So I can start doing that one. Get right. there, just brilliant. Get so I can get used to use the bike now and build a bit more weight off. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that, Matt. I really appreciate brilliant. it. So see you on the next one.